Let's talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League. We have entered match day two. Last week we saw an away victory for MFM away to Heartland of Oweri. And uh, that game actually ended 1-0. And uh, MFM played against their former coach, Fidelis Ilechuku. And this weekend we had two away victories. And Ojay Kerry, Aikoje, CEO, Matchroom Sports and Media and Publisher, um, Nigerian League Magazine brings us more on the results of the Nigerian Professional Football League. Eight matches were played on match day two. Um, two games, of course, um, postponed. So for the results, um, Adamawa United played a 1-1 draw with um, Rangers. MFM at home with 1-1 against FC Fanyuba. Jigawa Golden Stars lost at home to Plateau United. Sunshine drew 1-1 with Warrior Wolves. Nasara United lost at home to Wiki Torres. It was 0-1. Katina United played a 1-1 draw with Ayimba. Rivers United played a 1-1 draw with Heartland. While Lobby Stars had the highest call line of the day, beating them um, Delta Force. Uh, four goals to nothing. Uh, running down the results again for the second time, Jigawa Golden Stars are um, yet to win, so they've lost twice at the bottom of the log. Um, lost away, and um, coming back home, they lost. Um, you know, they lost at home for Lobby Stars. Um, after losing in, in Joss, uh, they came home to record the biggest score line of the day, beating Delta Force by four goals to nothing. Just to add to that, um, for Rivers United, it was a late rally for them. Uh, they had to play penalty twice um, to win. In, um, to, to sorry to secure that uh, point uh, against Hartland. Um, again, Christian Piabara returned from Saudi Arabia. One of the guys um, who have come back to the league has called that early goal for Hartland before Rivers United um, fought back to get um, a point. Then um, at Katsina, former Katsina United striker Martin Osule, who scored for Ayimba in the CAF Confederations Cup playoff, um, returned to his former team, uh, Katsina United, and scored for Ayimba. I'm um, talking about a player who left uh, a team and returned with another team to score um, over there. Then for Wiki Tories, uh, winning away from home. Um, a short trip uh, from Bochi, anyway, to uh, Lafia. But um, we must say that uh, for Rivers United, for uh, Wiki Tories, um, is a good one for them. Unlikely team, you might say, but the truth is that if you look at the log right now, Wiki Tories are second, Plateau United on top. Both teams have won maximum games, one at home, one away. For Plateau United, don't forget they were champions. Um, if few years back, struggled um, last season, but then they're showing um, real stuff this time around under Abdul Mekaba. Uh, we expected him to do much last season for Plato United. They struggled, but then uh, things have um, turned around. FC fine, but for the first time, they picked a point in um, in Lagos against MFM. It has always been MFM winning, um, you know, taking maximum points, but this time around, um, FC fine, but even scored first, MFM had to come from behind. The big striker, Kabiru Adeniji, um, equalized um, in, in Gombe, where Adama United played their home games um, because um, they, they don't have a good ground in Adamawa. It was Rangers calling first, and um, Adamawa came from behind to um, equalize and, and, and share points. Um, a few um, um, things you need to know. Uh, 14 teams are yet to win. Um, only six teams have won matches for now. We've got play two United, Wiki Torres, Ifan Yuba, um, MFM, um, Lobby Stars, Abia Warriors. Uh, these are teams that have won um, just six of them, and the other 14 teams are yet to win. Uh, Sikura Alimi and Nero Silas of Plato United all scoring back-to-back -back goals. Uh, Silas scored um, against Lobby when they played by match day one. He scored again at Jigawa. Uh, for Alimi, he scored one at um, Plato United, returned home to score against um, Delta Force in that big 4-0 bashing of um, Delta Force. That, of course, uh, certainly a good result, you must say, for Wenga Ogumbate because um, uh, the, the fans in Makodi want, want something big this time around. Uh, the former coach um, laid a good foundation, and so uh, they expect um, Wenga Ogumbate with all his pedigree to get something nice for them. And so, with this 4-0, talking about forgetting about what happened um, on the fourth day where they lost, and so the fans the jubilation time out there in Makodi hoping that um, this result is is what they need to move on. Thank you. Thank you right there, LJ Kerry, Aikoje, giving us updates on what's happening in the Nigerian Professional Football League, giving us results and all that.